Hi, today we're going to be explaining on how to set up the JTEC Photonics um, DAC uh, PWM board for doing photo engraving of images by using the step and direction signals of your controller for software controllers like Mach 3 that don't have a spindle output that's fast enough to keep up with image engraving. So in this one we have our desktop CNC over here that is controlled by this controller right here. Um, we have the JTEC Photonics driver for the 2.8 watt kit. Um, it's a 2.5 amp driver, and we have the, the new DAC board over here. So we're going to go into a little bit of how to set it up. So it has a power input on the, the right or the left here um, that comes um, that you can connect to a power supply. In this case, we just have it on a variable power supply over here. We recommend using a 5 volt supply. Um, you can use a little bit more than that, like a 12 volt. Um, this regulator can handle it. Um, just make sure it doesn't get too hot if you're going to use a really high high um, power supply. You can connect it on these two um, cables right here if you want to solder in some wires for um, the ground and the power. Or alternatively, you can use the screw terminals here, the power and the ground right here. You're going to take the um, step and direction signals, um, which is uh, these two pins right here. Um, and we're going to have it connected over here to the, our controller. Our controller has the output of step and direction right here. Um, and so you're going to take your step and directions. In this case, we're using our Z axis. And so we've removed our Z axis motors because um, we're going to be using that for the laser instead. And then we also have this um, cable here is the, uh, the output enable um, signal. So that will turn this relay on and off um, based on your M03 commands and M05 commands for Mach 3. Um, and then this is the output here. We have the PWM jumper set because um, we're using the JTEC photonics. You can see that the PWM is, is enabled. Um, if they were to the right, it'd be the analog. Um, and you're going to have a relay enable is set to enabled. Um, if you don't want to use the relays, you can use the override signal here. Um, we have it enabled because we have this connected um, down here for the M03, M05 command. And that goes into the output here. Um, is connected to the positives connected to the PWM on this side, and the negative is connected to the ground um, screw terminal here. And that's the plus and the minus input, which is going to go into the back of the H2 header, um, the input header on your JTEC Photonics driver. Um, the plus, you can see the plus and the minus are right there. Okay, so that's the entire setup. Um, we're going to go into now how to set up um, your Mach 3 and use, using the DAC board. So we put a couple probes on the DAC board to show exactly what kind of signals are happening so that you can get a, a description of, of what we're doing here. Um, so basically we're going to be taking the Z axis and there's going to be steps, um, 256 steps that you're allowed to use um, to make the uh, PWM duty cycle change. So you can see right now it's uh, it, the analog is the yellow and the, um, the PWM output is the blue. Um, we are set basically at zero um, and you're going to see that there is no laser energy coming out of the laser. Now if you move um, and put your Z command a little bit higher. So let's do an increment of, let's say, 0.1. Um, I'm going to send that command to the controller. And you can see that the pulse width has changed on the output of the DAC board. And you can see that we now have a little bit of laser light coming out of the laser. And you can convert, control this amount based on your step, how many steps you have on your machine. In this particular machine, um, it's between um, negative 0.5 and 0.5. So it's about one millimeter gives us 256 steps. So if I increase it by another um, 0.1, you can see, boop, there it goes up. The analog went up and the PWM went up. And then if we go down by 0.1, you can see it go back down and then back down. So every single movement of the z-axis will give you a bigger duty cycle or an analog output voltage um, to the from the DAC board to the laser driver. 
Next we're going to be loading a image file and watching that um, process on the machine. So we're going to be setting up our Pick Laser Lite program for our software to get the image converted into G-code. Um, we're going to go and select our file here, select this Porsche, load it in, and we're going to go in there and change our settings. And these settings are going to be specific to your machine, but for our machine we found out that a maximum laser value of about 0.63 millimeters um, gave a maximum threshold for, for turning the laser on all the way. Um, a minimum um, value of 0.1 uh, millimeters gave it just to a point where it, it is burning um, the material. So you're going to find out your minimum value of right before it starts burning and then the maximum value of, of where it's maxed out the laser. Um, and then the 256 steps between those two is going to give you the maximum range for your engravings. Um, it's going to be different for each machine. It depends on how many steps you have per millimeter or per inch on your machine set. So it's going to be uh, you, that's something you need to figure out for your own machine. Um, laser off command, of course, it's going to be 0, M05. Um, and in this one, the, Z, the laser control command, it's going to be a Z because you're using that Z encoder signal to turn on and off the laser. Um, you're going to do a standard G code for Mach 3, and we're going to um, just press to load our file and make our G code. And it's going to process it, and we're going to save our G code to a file. And um, we're going to export it. It's going to make our G code for us. And the next step, we're going to load it into our machine. So here we have, we're actually using a Shape Oco here and um, GRBL, but we've hooked it up the same way you would hook up everything using Mach 3. Um, we've loaded a program in that has the Z axis. So it's going to be going up and down the z-axis in theory and in, in the, the program is going to be moving it up and down between those 256 points um, to give the laser output. So if we start this program we can see that it is burning at full power the outline first of our image And here we go. And now it's starting to do, you can see it's starting to change the image intensity as it goes back and forth. Watch out. So as it's doing the rastering, you can see the PW analog voltage output and the PWM output are both going up and down based on the pixels intensity. Where there's a dark spot, the pulse width is getting larger. Where there's a light spot, the pulse width is getting less. And it's doing this pretty much on the fly. You can see it moving quite fast. Um, the scope actually can't even really keep up with it. Um, it's doing it pixel by pixel. I think our feed rate on this is a thousand um, millimeters per minute and it's doing a pretty good job of engraving right now. We'll just fast forward a little bit and show the end of the engraving. So there it is. Image engraving with the JTEC Photonics DAC PWM board set up for step in direction signals to engrave on machines with Mach 3 CNC or Linux CNC, or any other software controller that is not fast enough for the normal spindle controls. If you want more information, please visit jtechphotonics.com for our shop. And if you would like to purchase it, visit our shop online at jtechphotonics.com. They're available for sale right now. Thank you.